Hello, my name is AJ and I'm the media team lead. This is the beginning of an in-depth overview of our team and what we're doing during the 2022 build season. My name is Arian Kulkarni. I'm the business team lead and I'm also involved with the scouting and strategy and software sub teams. So on the strategy front, our main goal and ongoing goal has been to produce and refine our priority list. As we're gaining more information about the difficulty of the various tasks, we are continuously working to refine this list. And then on the scouting front, our main goal has been the developing the scouting app for the 2022 game, which includes both the front end UI as well as the back end data processing in Altrix, as well as data analysis and figuring out which metrics we want to use and feeding those metrics into Tableau so we can have effective data analysis. So this is 63328's 2022 scouting app. Scouts will first select the starting position of the robot. Um, scouts will then select the shooting position of the robot and can use the scoring boxes to, to mark the scoring. So this is upper success, upper fail, lower success, and lower fail. And there's also a taxi box here um, which scouts can tap if the robot taxied. Now scouts can continue tapping around the field to signify where the robot is shooting from. In TallyUp, the shooting position and scoring remains the same, but these boxes appear here for the climb. So this is low, mid, high, and traversal. Click the box once to signify attempt, click the box twice to signify success, and click it again to signify failure. And then scouts will fill out their post game. This is end game, but we are going to change it to post game to better represent what that portion of the game is. Scouts will fill this out and then upload their data. My name is Jonah. I'm currently a junior on the team and I'm the software lead. I do lots of robot software. Well, so our most recent project with robot code is a logging framework that we've created over the off season. So we've been doing a lot of work integrating that into our competition code so we can log everything that's happening during a match and inspect really closely to make sure that everything's going well. Beyond that, this for the first couple of weeks, we've been setting up our code base so we can drive around uh, previous year's robots, test all of the basics. And most recently, we've been using the limelight in order to scan the 2022 vision target and calculate our robot's position on the field. One of our key goals with programming this year is we want to integrate as many students as possible into our process. We want to make sure that at the end of the build season, every student feels like they've really grown both in terms of software and as a participant on the team as a whole. So we're putting a lot of work into talking with individual students, making sure uh, that they're setting goals and that they're achieving those personal goals on the team. So my name is Michael Morana. I'm a senior in high school and I'm on the manufacturing team and I'm the manufacturing lead. So in the past weeks, I've been working on prototyping the shooter and I've been building some field elements for the game. Uh, for the shooter, we're trying to get it to a point next week or within the next week where we can test it and uh, keep on testing it to troubleshoot it and improve on it. So uh, while we're prototyping, we use our CAD models to as a foundation for our mechanisms. And while we're building them, we actually use the CAD to kind of model it after. And then we make small tweaks on the mechanism in real life uh, that might not follow the CAD just so we can uh, fix some minor issues. Hi, I'm Maddie and I'm the technical captain. So lately I've been working on uh, our drivetrain CAD and our shooter prototyping as well as my typical captain responsibilities. Um, so my goals with the shooter prototype are to build an effective shooter for our final robot, which is going pretty well. We're going for a, like a hooded flywheel type shooter, kind of like what you saw on a robot in 2020 to 2021. So our drivetrain is powered by three Neos on each side, and we have uh, traction wheels in the middle and Omni wheels on both sides with no drop center, and the Omni wheels are for turning. Well, I'm Hunter, uh, Hunter B, and I'm on the CAD and design team. So right now we're making a prototype West Coast drivetrain so we can program it to see how we can mount our mechanisms onto our final design as well. I'm Lizzie and I'm on the electrical sub team. So this year, um, so far all we've done is starting prepping the controllers and motors 
And so we got in pretty good far with that, but we still need some more to do. Um, right now the assembly team is working on putting together the belly pan and the drivetrain. So once that's all figured out and done, we're going to start needing to plan out where the electrical components are going to go in there. So that spacing wise, we might have some problems, but we'll see. Through these past few weeks, we've made a lot of progress and we now have a pretty solid idea of what our 2022 robot is going to look like and how it's going to perform. Still though, we have a lot of work to do and a really long road ahead of us.